Monday, April 18th, 2016, City Council meeting to order. Please call the roll. Alderman Santee? Here. Alderman Glad? Here. Alderman Curry? Here. Alderman Wimmer? Here. Alderman Peterson? Here. Alderman Condon? Here. Thank you. We have some scouts visiting this evening who are working on some badges from uh, Troop 149, and I invite you to come forward and lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance, please. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. Again, congratulations on choosing to be in scouting. I, um, as I told you earlier, I think that it's one of the <coughs> best things you can do for yourself to develop good character and strong leadership skills. So good for you guys. Thank you. The City of McHenry's mission statement is as follows. The City of McHenry is dedicated to providing its citizens, businesses, and visitors with the highest quality of programs and services in a customer-oriented, efficient, and fiscally responsible manner. At this time, um, we are going to have a presentation, a proclamation in recognition of Comcast Cares Day, which will be April 30th in the City of McHenry, 2016. I'd first like to read the proclamation, and then um, we're going to hear a little bit about what their plans are. So, the proclamation reads, Whereas Comcast remains an active, committed, and engaged member of the McHenry community and supports the core American value of volunteerism through partnerships, grants, and volunteer activities that empower individuals and organized communities, and whereas Comcast Care Day is a celebration of service and has become the nation's largest single day corporate volunteer effort that brings families, employees, friends, and community partners together for a common purpose and mission. And whereas Comcast is celebrating its 15th National Comcast Cares Day and has reached an important milestone of 4 million volunteer hours and more than 700,000 volunteers since Comcast Cares Day started in 2001, and whereas Comcast Cares Day promotes a spirit of corporate responsibility thanks to the hard work, dedication, and service of volunteers at Gigi's Playhouse and the VFW McHenry Post 4600 on April 30th, and whereas improving both facilities will add to the enjoyment of visitors and participants at both facilities. Now therefore, I, Susan E. Lau, Mayor of the City of McHenry, wish to acknowledge Comcast as an active, committed, and engaged member of our community and do hereby proclaim <coughs> April 30th, 2016 as Comcast Cares Day in the City of McHenry. Thank you so much, Mayor. Thank and you so much. I have a pair of gloves for you. All right, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> These are work gloves that we will make available. Thank you so much. Thank you. Step back there. Sure, if you'd like to just tell us <coughs> what you're going to do. <coughs> yes, on the 30th, do I need this or can you hear yes, me? Yes, please. Um, on April 30th, that's a, a week from this Saturday, we will have, as was mentioned in the proclamation, volunteers who will be at both the VFW and at Gigi's Playhouse to do work inside and outside, to do a little spring cleanup and some beautification. We'll be painting, we'll be mulching, landscaping, that's why the gloves. And we have already, at the VFW Post, we have 76 volunteers already signed up. The mayor's coming, we're adding her to that list. And then at Gigi's Playhouse, we have 31 volunteers. So we're in very good shape, but we love to have more volunteers, certainly. And also, if you just want to even step by to say hello and to wish our volunteers well, that would be fabulous. We started at 8.30 at the projects, and then we should be done shortly after noon. We'll have um, coffee and things in the morning, and then there's a lunch for everyone, as well as a t-shirt. So if you can let me know what size t-shirt you would want, we'll make sure and have that. Thank you also, John Schmidt and the city has donated mulch for us to use at VFW, and we're really delighted about that. So thank you very much, it was very kind. And we hope to see many of you, all of you, at our Comcast Cares Day on the 30th. If I could add, um, you should have with you a brochure. Internet Essentials is our low-cost um, internet for low-income families, $9.95 a month. For any family that has a child, either in the free or reduced lunch program, they can qualify. 
and we have expanded it now to the community colleges. So McHenry Community College, any student there who is full-time and has a Pell Grant can qualify for that same price. It includes the modem and the price never changes. So that we're pretty excited about that. We announced recently that across the United States, in the, we're in our fifth year now, we have connected over 600,000 <coughs> families, which equates to about 2.2 million individuals that otherwise would maybe not be able to afford the internet. So in, in this digital age, it's very important for kids to be able to get online to do homework and research and for parents to get education and to apply for jobs as well. One last thing, by the end of the year, Comcast will be providing to our entire region one gig of service to both home and business, which means that will be a great economic development tool for the city to use. So thank you very much for your time, and I hope to see you many, many of you on the 30th. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much, Joan. Thank you so much. The next uh, item on the agenda is public comment. Um, no one has signed in for that. Is there anyone here for that purpose? Evening. See no one. Uh, the next item is the consent agenda. Looking for a motion to approve. Alder Limer. Make a motion to approve the consent agenda as presented. Is there a second? Alderman Curry. Second. Discussion, Alderman Limer. No questions. Alderman Peterson. Glad to see our dispatch uh, service is getting busier and busier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we expect more. We do. Excellent. <laughs> Alderman Condon. No questions. Alderman Santi. I have no questions. Alderman Glad. Yeah, just on the, those agreements, Chief, uh, what do we look at is as far as space, considering uh, we're spending $900,000 to set up, uh, if we ex keep expanding this, are we going to need more room? Or, or no, we're going to be, we're gonna be you know, it's the, it's the countywide plan, too. Each center is going to have the same amount of seats. We're all looking at nine seats a center. So nine would, would uh, there's, <coughs> we have to take in customers, several customers from other counties, too, to, have to worry about that. We're, we're well suited to go well into the future. I can't see us having to expand for years. But we, we've anticipated the potential customers coming towards us and, and we're, our space is fine for that. All right, so I'll do that. Thank you. Thank you. Alderman Schaefer? No questions. Alderman Curry? Uh, just a couple of questions. The the uh, rates that were shown in here where it says it's their current rate, is that the current rate where they're at today and that, why that's? Um, the, the rates we're looking at with the two different IGAs, the rates we're looking at for the three fire departments is the anticipated rate we're going to be at when they come to us. When you look at Union, uh, they're just like Marengo. They're looking at coming to us sometime this May before the build-out starts. We could take them without any additional infrastructure change or, or personnel. So those are customers we could take on without expanding. So there we're looking more at the current rate structure we're at. For uh, the, the three fire departments, that's the anticipated rate we would be at um, in 2017. So, oh, so that those are our rates. Yes. Yes. Not, yes. Okay. So are, I, I wasn't sure when. Right. And the um, the escalation each year. That basically, I, I would imagine it's going to happen. But if the CPI went above three percent, we're the ones facing, or the group uh, is then just eating the difference. Is that correct. Right? Correct. But we're doing that to get the customers on board. Maybe yeah, and if you look at it historically, we've been well below the 3% for several yeah, oh, years. Yeah, I, I don't expect that. Yeah. And just one final comment on the <coughs> ordinances themselves. I think there's a typo on every one of them. On section one, just check it. Section 1B, it says the mayor of the city is hereby authorized to executive yeah, the agreement. I assume it means executive. Yeah, yeah okay. I see that. Right. Thank you. No problem. Any further questions on the consent agenda? Seeing none, please call the roll. Alderman Wimmer? Yes. Alderman Curry? Yes. Alderman Glab? Yes. Alderman Condon? Yes. Alderman Sandy? Yes. Alderman Peterson? Yes. Motion carried. Thank you. The next item is a motion. Alderman Schaefer, you're here. Sit here all the Alderman Schaefer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Hello. <laughs> The next item on the agenda is a motion to approve the fiscal year 2016-2017 liquor license renewals and the ordinance amending municipal code chapter four, decreasing the number of class A2 liquor licenses from three to two and increasing the number of class A liquor licenses from 24 to 25. 
Uh, uh, just uh, per the supplement, uh, each year the owners of establishments uh, <coughs> serving or selling alcohol and beverages are required to annual renew their annually renew their liquor license. Um, applicants and managers for these establishments have been fingerprinted. All license fees have been paid, as the mayor also identified. Uh, uh, the owner of Route 31 Bank, once at Conference Center, has informed us that they will no longer offer alcoholic beverages as part of their catering businesses, which uh, would require uh, the establishment of a different license than what they have now. Um, the other thing, uh, Alderman Glab, uh, the item, I, it went over my head when you mentioned it to me, but I understand what you're getting at with the, on, on the information provided the council, uh, identified in red, in the list are those establishments that are uh, video gaming establishments and uh, the one under class A1 beer and wine, A1-1 Lucky Louise's is not identified in red. Yes, it is our anticipation that they will receive a video gaming license, but they have, it's our understanding that they've not received that from the state yet. So they're, they're awaiting that. And Foxhall on the top. Yeah, Foxhall in the back. All right, we will, ch we will we tried to provide that for for your information, but we'll make sure we change that for you. So thank yeah, you. Yeah, Foxhole does have it already. Yep, yeah, thank you. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Looking for a motion to approve this item. Alderman Wimmer. Make a motion to approve the fiscal year 2016-17 liquor license renewals and the ordinance amending municipal code chapter 4, decreasing the number of class A2 liquor licenses from three to two, and increasing number of class A liquor licenses from 24 to 25. Is there a second on that motion? Alderman Schaefer? Second. Uh, any discussion, Alderman Wimmer? No. Alderman Peterson? No questions. Alderman Condon? No questions. Alderman Santee? And that'll go through with the change for Foxhole. Also, I have that red track. Yes, yep. I have no other questions. Alderman Glad? No. Alderman Schaefer? No questions. Alderman Curry? No questions. Please call the roll. Alderman Wimmer? Yes. Alderman Schaefer? Yes. Alderman Santee? Yes. Alderman Condon? Yes. Alderman Curry? Yes. Alderman Peterson? Yes. Alderman Glad? Yes. Motion carried. Thank you. The next item is the mayor's statement and reports. The only thing I have this, <coughs> excuse me, this evening is I would just like to take the opportunity to thank you all, sincerely thank you all for the support that you showed to me and my family last week staff as well. Um, it, it was uh, very, very much appreciated. So I just want to say, publicly say thank you. Um, and that's all I have. Uh, are there any committee reports this evening? Seeing none, any staff reports? Uh, I just want to uh, remind everybody that our spring brush pickup program began today. Um, it was printed, the schedule was printed in the March 2016 new newsletter, and it's also on the city's website. Anything else? Uh, any future agenda items? Alderman Glad? Yeah, I just wanted to bring up, you know, doing the uh, renewal of our liquor licenses, if you count how many uh, <coughs> gaming places we have uh, with the two corrections, there's 23 right there, and, uh, you know, it seems like there's more to come, and I think we need to look at that and review it and see, I mean, uh, we first approved it years back, uh, we said that uh, well, once we approve it, the state uh, pretty much governs everything else, and yet uh, uh, our neighbors at the lake uh, have ordinances in place and everything else, and I wonder if we should uh, kind of take a look at that, and I don't know if it could be the, the number that we limit or, or what, but uh, there are evidently things that we can control on that, and maybe we should be reviewed. That's all. Thank you. Any other future agenda items? Seeing none, I'm looking for a motion to go into executive session pursuant to 5 ILCS 120-2C employment matters. All the rumors? So moved. Is there a second? Alderman Santee? I'll second the motion. Please, any discussion? Please call the roll. Alderman Wimmer? Yes. Alderman Santee? Yes. Alderman Glad? Yes. Alderman Schaefer? Yes. Alderman Curry? Yes. Alderman Peterson? Yes. Alderman Condon? Yes. Motion carried. Thank you. So we're now going to executive session. So thank you very much again for being here with us. We appreciate it. And good luck. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you, Joe.